Hello, hi, welcome. We have so much to talk about, friends. Like, so incredibly much. First of all, I was able to attend BK Beauty's fifth birthday party in Austin on August 17th. So I have some goodies here. I have some things I wanna to talk to you about. We are going to dive into that. I have some vlog footage. I also did receive the new Nomad palette. This is the Fuji Five Lakes palette. So I thought we'll do a get ready with me. I'll talk about the BK Beauty party. I will show a look using this beautiful palette here and then while I was in Austin, I was staying with my friend Angie and Yella Kanikvist. She owns the brand Singe Beauty and y'all, they launched blushes, 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 four of them. I have them here. Along with the blushes, they launched two new makeup bags. I have those as well. I was able to snag my PR kit from Angie. So I want to talk to you about that also. We're going to swatch the blushes. I'm going to show you the makeup bags. I'm going to talk about BK Beauty. We're going to dive into the Fuji Five Lakes and we're just going to get ready together. I probably won't be talking about all of the makeup. All of it will be listed down below. Let's go ahead and zoom in and get started. So I thought while we'd get started, I would just show you the goodie bag first, the goodie bag that BK Beauty sent with us for their five year birthday party, anniversary, whatever you want to call it. And the reason why is because there's this cute little headband and I didn't think of that today because my hair is up, but you know what? I'm still going to wear this cute little headband while we get ready together. So excuse the paper. This is the super cute headband here. And so we are just going to put that on. I know my hair is already pulled up, but it's super cute. So I wanted to wear that. Also, they have these cute BK Beauty clips. So I like to use these if I'm getting ready to kind of clip my hair back also, but I have this cute little headband. They also included their little travel set. This is the first travel kit that they came out with. They have another makeup bag that I like to use that kind of comes up and down, but this is the kit that zips and when you open it up there are travel brushes in here mine I took out because I use them I do use them so I'll insert like a picture of this actual kit you can get this on the BK Beauty site I have it I love it it's great because it fits the brushes in there nicely you have these pouches you can tuck like whatever you need in here it zippers it's good to go so that was super cute but I wanted to show you that before we got started because um, I did intend on wearing this. I just, I hadn't, I, I hadn't thought about the fact that I didn't do my hair today. So, you know, it, it's still going to do its job. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and rewind and tell you all about the party. We're going to talk about Angie's products when I get to them and the Nomad palette when I get to it, but I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin because it is feeling pretty dry. So my relationship, I've talked about this before, my relationship with BK Beauty, I love them so much y'all. I love Lisa and the BK Beauty team so much. I have talked about the fact that I have been on YouTube for a long time, but I took a step back after having my daughter in 2019. I took about 14 months off and came back in the fall of 2020. And when I came back to the beauty space to YouTube, I started hearing people talk about this brand BK Beauty and I did not hear about them before. I hadn't heard about them while I was like away from the game, but I heard people talking about this brand BK Beauty and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to know more about this brand. So I purchased some of my very first brushes. I don't remember what the first set of brushes that I bought was, but I purchased them. And from there, I quickly fell in love with their brushes. And at this time, like this was when I started noticing that people had like discount codes with different brands. So y'all, I went out on a limb and I thought I really enjoy the brand BK Beauty. So I'm going to see if I can get a discount code. And I literally DM'd them. I was like, Hey, I bought your brushes. Like I really love them. Uh, do you guys like offer discount codes? Like, could I have a discount code? And from there, the brand ended up reaching out. They gave me a discount code and BK Beauty was the first brand to ever send me consistent PR. And this was, I knew who Lisa J was at the time when I found BK Beauty. So I subscribed to her and I was following her, but I hadn't had any interaction with Lisa at this point. And so I 
like just literally went out on a limb and that was how my relationship with BK Beauty started like I reached out to them and they were so kind and wonderful to me even like as a smaller creator they were like yes here's the here's the code and they started sending me PR and I continued to purchase some products from them as they were coming out with new products and as I was receiving PR I still went on to purchase some items myself they had a sponge that I loved for a while they had an eyeshadow palette that I used on my channel and they also have some lipsticks their lipsticks are on clearance right now so if you've ever wanted to try them out I feel like now would be the time to do so I did see maybe it was on their social media or maybe it was on their site but it said that they're trying to make room for new products so I believe that they may possibly be discontinuing their lipsticks I haven't heard this from anybody I do this is just an assumption that maybe they're discontinuing their makeup products or their lipstick products but they're gonna come out with something else in their place so if you've ever wanted them, my code is KBELLA10. It saves you money, and I mean they're on clearance, so now would be the time to buy them. So I have this relationship with BK Beauty, and I got to meet Lisa and Sophia and Lyric from the BK Beauty team when I went to the Creators and Friends trip, the very first trip that they had to Charleston. And I have a whole vlog on that, so I will list that down below if you're interested. But that was my first time meeting Lisa and getting to talk to her in person, meeting Sophia and Lyric, and talking to them in person. And by this point in time, I, you know, I had like talked to them on social media because I was already a affiliated with the brand before the creators and friends trip so it was so cool to meet them in person and I was actually able to Lisa flew down for a dinner and I was able to sit next to her and she was so kind and humble and like we literally were like talking about our kids she has two daughters and it was just so nice to meet her in person. She was so lovely and so kind and to really put like a face to the brand, you know, and not even just with Lisa, but with the team as well. Like the girls were amazing. Everyone has been so incredibly kind and they are just a brand that I fell in love with. But y'all, I was shocked. I tell you, shocked when I got an email saying that I was invited to the BK Beauties fifth birthday party celebration. I was shocked because I've never been invited to a brand event before, ever. Luckily, uh, I am just so that you know, this has a whole dedicated video, but I'm going in with the LYS stick foundation today. But I have a whole dedicated video on this foundation, so I don't want to talk about it too much. You can kind of check out that video. I'll have it listed down below. But I live in Houston and BK Beauty, Lisa lives in Austin and BK Beauty is, is based out of Austin. And so when I got the invitation, I was talking to my husband about it and I am a teacher, third grade teacher. August is the beginning of the school year. So I'm like, oh my gosh, will I be able to make this happen? But luckily the party was going to be on a Saturday. So my husband was like, yes, go. It's only a three hour drive. Like it's an easy day trip. And if you don't know, Angie or Aniela Kanequist here on YouTube is one of my really, really close friends that we met a couple years ago. We met, um, you know, through social media and online, but after her moving to Texas, we've gotten together several times as well. Like she's come out to Houston. I now got to go out to Austin and see her place. We met up for the first time in Austin. I drove out there for dinner to meet her and Heather, and we talk like all the time online. So she really is one of my closest friends, and she lives in Austin. So once I found out about the party, we were like, perfect, we'll go together. So it was super exciting. I drove out early in the morning. Like I said, the party was on a Saturday. So I drove out early in the morning that Saturday and got to Angie's house and Angie owns Singe Beauty. I knew that Singe was coming out with this launch. I've traveled with Angie several times. I had already seen her makeup bags when she was using them. I knew she was coming out with blushes. And so going to her house and being able to like see the products in person was super cool. I was actually able to wear one of her blushes. I wore the pink one, Riveting Rhubarb, when I was at the BK Beauty party. But I got to play with that. I got to help her get some of the PR packages together and like put labels on them and such. And we just got to like hang out and chat. I didn't know going out there exactly what I wanted to do with like a vlog or anything. So I kind of decided, well, I'll take some clips while I'm there. But honestly, when Angie and I were hanging out, it was more like hanging out with a friend. So like, yes, we went to Sephora together. I didn't vlog it. Yes, we put some of her PR packages together. Like, I didn't vlog it. But when we went to the party, 
I did get some clips there. So as I'm talking about the party, I'm going to go ahead and insert the clips. I also want to apologize if this is all over the place. I actually do find it a little bit challenging to uh, try and do my makeup and talk at the same time. I am a very long-winded storyteller to begin with, but you add putting makeup on on top of that and it becomes even more difficult for me. So the BK party. Angie and I got ready at her place. No, we didn't film it. We thought about that after the fact. The party was from 7 to 10. So we got ready and we took an Uber to the event space. It was like an actual event space that I believe they rented for the party. And right when you walked in, y'all, it was decorated so cute. First of all, you walk up and there's this huge BK Beauty light up sign that, of course, Angie and I took pictures in front of, right? And as we were walking up, there was another girl that was coming with us. It was, it was a little bit confusing because the place had a coffee place across the street with the same name. And so at first we're like, wait, do we go over here? But there's no people over there. So then we saw the event space, but we ran into Sophia Sees Beauty. So I'll have her channel listed down below. And we kind of walked in together. We took a picture by the BK Beauty sign. And right when you walk in, it was so cute because they had this like entryway. There was a photographer there. They had the goodie bags and some cookies. There was a full bar. Like everything was complimentary for us like we didn't have to pay for drinks there were snacks there everything from like I think it was seafood like crab lobster sandwiches but I don't eat anything out of the oceans so, like I didn't eat that charcuterie boards they had appetizers coming around there was this really good like cucumber avocado something that we had that was delicious and then like meatballs coming around so we walk in and Sophia and Lyric greeted us right away which was really cool because like I said we had met in Charleston so it was great to see them again and Sophia just recently got engaged so we got to meet her fiance which was really cool because like we saw her pictures online and stuff and of course we saw Lisa there so we went up and said hi to her but a lot of the people were like just kind of mingling at this point it was so cute they had like a stage area they had a couch where you could sit down then they had like the table Tables. when you go to a wedding for like cocktail hour they had the tables like that and uh, people were like kind of standing or standing around chatting I didn't really recognize too many people right away they also had one of those 360 photo booths which was so cool so of course Angie and I had to do the 360 photo booth but it was so fun because like Lisa and Sophia and Lyric were doing the photo booth um, Sophia Sees Beauty was doing the photo booth I have some clips of that we got to meet some of the customer service team uh, from BK Beauty and chat with them. We got to meet some of Lisa's family, like her family was there. So it was really cool. We were just kind of having snacks. There was this really cute setup. It was all of like all of the BK Beauty products that they've come out with. It was like this big wall and it had her collaborations on there. There were video clips in the background of like the behind the scenes photo shoot of Lisa doing her collabs. It was so stinking cute. It was really lovely to kind of get like a little glimpse of like the behind the scenes and really just to celebrate, right? So this was my first brand event. I didn't really know what to expect and so we were just kind of mingling dancing i did know that yadi from yadi beauty was going to be there um she actually had texted me beforehand she is in dallas she doesn't really create too much content anymore but she did create content for a while um so when she got there we were able to talk to her and meet with her there was one point where lisa gave a speech and y'all it was so cute i will probably include some of it i want to thank you all for coming out tonight to celebrate such a major moment for us. Um, we really appreciate you all being here. Many of you guys know our story. We launched BK Beauty out of our living room, packing orders till all hours of the night around our coffee table. In fact, a few of you in this room were there helping us pack orders. And I don't know about you, but I can say with all honesty that I did not see what would the next five years would bring. But during the speech, Lisa came up to the front and I swear, like everybody's in tears, right? Because she's talking about like how thankful she is to be able to celebrate like her five year birthday with the brand. And she starts by thanking her husband for like supporting her and saying that like marrying him was the best thing he's like she's ever done, which was so cute and sweet. And like she was getting choked up and it was so sweet to see that. But also she was thanking like her friends and her family for being there and supporting her and believing in her dream. But then she also took a time to 
to thank all of the content creators who have ever like even uttered anything about her brand and you know like she got a little bit choked up at that part I found myself getting a little bit choked up at that part and there were some of us there it, it seemed like uh, Texas based content creators were the ones who were invited to the party it wasn't huge by any means um, but it was definitely large there were a lot of people there the people there but it looked like all texas based content creators and so she was just like thanking the the content creators uh who have ever you know mentioned anything about her brand and she even thanked like her customers like she was saying that she was so appreciative of anybody who's ever like purchased from bk beauty or had anything to do with the brand and how she was so thankful it was so sweet she made this one comment saying like people think about me when they think of bk beauty because i'm like the face of the brand but she was saying there's so much more that goes into this than just me and so i thought that was so like humbling and down to earth because when you do think of bk beauty you think of lisa right she's the founder she's the ceo like she is the content creator behind the brand but she really did like thank everybody who's ever been a part of it and you could just see in her face and tell in her voice that she was like so genuine and she really meant what she said and I just thought it was the absolute sweetest thing but I need to do my brows real quick be right back okay brows are on so we're at the point where Lisa gives her speech Angie and I were off to the side eating some snacks from the charcuterie board I was trying to get some video clips Lisa's done with the speech dancing starts and Angie has this plate from our snacks and she's like okay let's go put this down and so we literally turn around I'm behind Angie and all of a sudden I hear her say like oh my gosh hello and she's hugging someone and I'm like, oh, okay. So I look up and I realize she's hugging Marlena Stell from Makeup Geek. Now, I do not have any kind of personal relationship with Marlena. I have watched her for years. She's an OG in the YouTube space. I have loved Makeup Geek for years. Some of my first videos ever were Makeup Geek, but I have never personally talked to Marlena. However, I do know that Angie and Marlena have been friends in the beauty space for quite some time, but they had never met before. So they're saying hello to each other. Angie introduces her to me and says, this is my friend and Kelly and y'all I kid you not so Marlena she gives me a hug she's like hi nice to meet you and then she looks at me and she goes I feel like I know you do you create content I feel like I've seen you before so I was like yeah I, I am I, I do create beauty content as well and she's like I swear I've seen your videos before and so we got to chat a little bit and we were chatting at the table with Yachty that's when Yachty came over as well and it was super cool because I do know that Marlena currently lives in Houston and so I told her like oh yeah like I'm in Houston also so it was cool because her and Lisa are friends so she was able to come over and support and I know it was really cool for Angie because her and Marlena have been friends for so long and they were able to find Finally connect and meet and Marlena was just a gem we were able to take a picture together I have talked to her since um, the party and she's just so sweet and kind and that is one thing you know that I feel like is not highlighted enough in the beauty space is how genuine and how kind everyone is like at the BK beauty party you know like BK stands for beauty and kindness but like the brand really does embody that, not just in their words, they don't just say we believe in beauty and kindness, but the support that they have personally shown me and like just how kind and warm everybody is. Like every person that I have met in the beauty space has been so just open and friendly and kind and like it really like it's not a numbers game like nobody cares everybody's just a person who loves makeup and they come together and so it was so incredibly sweet so we were able to talk to marlena for a while I was able to get a picture with Lisa um, and then after kind of like dancing and mingling and doing the photo booth it was um, a little bit before the party ended we decided to skip out it seemed like the party was dwindling down and at Angie's house there was um, like a pool party going on so we were gonna kind of go join everybody there too but it was just so it was such a positive first experience at an event and so like humbling and just so like literally it felt like we were hanging out with friends it did not feel like some weird like social media like it literally just felt like hanging out with a group of friends and i honestly could not have hoped for 
anything more and I cannot thank BK Beauty enough for inviting me for being the first brand to give me a coupon code for being the first brand to consistently send me PR to now being the first brand to invite me to an event and I surely hope that if they do another event that I get invited I love me Lisa now that I've met her twice like hanging out with her is so fun the whole team like just so humbling so honored so fun I was very glad to be a part of it so let's get to the fun part. I have these four Singe Beauty blushes and two makeup bags that I wanna talk to you about. And y'all, I do have to say, I am friends with Angie. I love her. One of the things that I love most about Angie is, first of all, she is incredibly smart, okay? She's very, very smart, incredibly hardworking, but she is the friend that is going to give it to you straight. If you're wearing an outfit and you're like, how does this look? Is this like a bad outfit? Like she's the one that would be like, maybe you shouldn't wear that. You should wear this. And Angie's the type of friend that would literally take clothing off of her and be like, you should wear this. I think it'll look really good on you. I just value her friendship so much. I'm so proud of her for all she's done with Singe Beauty. I've been able to see stuff behind the scenes and hear her talk about her brand. And she's just so passionate. And she really like she is doing what she loves but she's taking the time to do it right to create quality products that she you know hopes other people will love and i'm just so proud of her and so thankful and y'all these products like just know that i am biased okay it's my friend i am biased i have to let you know that but i'm so proud of her i'm gonna show you these blushes on my skin we're gonna talk about you're gonna get to see it's amazing it's amazing let's jump in Okay, so first of all, Angie did give me a restock on the sponge and puff. You guys see my sponge every time I'm doing a get ready with me. It's the sponge that I use, so I'm so glad that I have backups of those now. So she did come out with two makeup bags, and y'all, I have seen her makeup bags in person because when we went to the Creators and Friends holiday party, she actually had this bag in there. But I'm gonna show you just how much can fit in this larger bag. And I love the way that it opens up. It is flat on the bottom, but you have this zipper pouch. Like for me, I always lose my pencils, my brow pencils, my liners, mascaras. That's what I'm gonna love to use this middle pouch for. You also like, my concealer if I wanted to put my little Sigma concealer in there and have a special spot for it and the bottom is very large like you can fit palettes in there and everything but I do love that it is a zipper so you can zip it up it also can kind of fold down flat if you're traveling with it and you don't have anything in it yet so I think that this is absolutely wonderful it fits so much in there and then the smaller one I feel like is perfect for brushes if you want to travel with your brushes or even lippies I feel like I could could put lippies in here you could put your brushes in here and Angie mentioned in her video when she showed it that her singe brushes are longer than other brushes and they fit in here perfectly there's also stuff on the side if you wanted to tuck like tweezers in or if you have like a lash applicator or something they just fit so much but perhaps one of my favorite things about these makeup bags is the fact that they both have a handle because y'all, I kid you not, a lot of my makeup bags don't have handles. So then it's kind of like awkward when you're trying to carry them because you're like holding it. This makes it so much easier. You can just hold it by the handle, carry it, fits nicely in your bag. It is absolutely wonderful. But I do have to say, I was most excited about these four blushes. So I'm gonna show you the clip of me applying Timid Tomato and Risky Raisin because I do have a light skin tone and these two are a little bit deeper. So I was interested to see how these were going to apply on my light skin. And just if you didn't know, the blushes are $18 each, but you can get them in a bundle. And y'all, surprisingly timid tomato has been a favorite for me i have worn it to work it gives me a nice flush on the cheeks more of like a little bit of a sunburnt effect and the thing that i like about these blushes is there is pigment immediately when you tap in and apply it you have pigment on there but if you go in with a light hand you're able to build it up and you can really go in lightly 
and take your time to build it up and have it look on your skin how you want it to look. These are so creamy to the touch. Y'all, even Risky Raisin. So Timid Tomato has a little bit more of like a red undertone. Risky Raisin is a little bit more brown. But again, you can build it up. They're so silky smooth to the touch. And the thing that's really, really awesome about these is that they do leave a little bit of a sheen on your skin. Looking at it, you would look at it and say, oh, this kind of looks like a flat matte. But even when you see the swatches on my skin, on my arm, like you can see a bit of a sheen without chunks of glitter, without specks of glitter. They're just so wonderful and they make my cheeks look so glowy and healthy. But the other thing about these blushes, I wore these y'all to work one day and I had my makeup on for 17 hours. I'm a teacher. I did my makeup at 5 a.m. and then I wasn't washing it off until after I put my kids to bed at like 8 o'clock. And I kid you not, these blushes were still on my cheeks. The pigment was still there. They did not go anywhere. I didn't have to touch it up. I didn't have to add more. They stayed on my skin and I was blown away by that. But I do want to show you the next two shades on my skin. We have the Riveting Rhubarb, which is the pinkier one that I wore at the BK Beauty event, and then Persistent Persimmon. I think is how you say it. I'm gonna wear that on the other cheek. I have not worn this one yet. Angie mentions in her video, which will be linked down below, that there are a few brushes you can use, but I'm gonna use the Singe F06 to apply this onto my cheeks today. So you will see here is Riveting Rhubarb and Persistent Persimmon. I think both look great on my skin tone, so if you do have a light skin tone, I do believe that you will be able to wear all four shades and make them work. You'll see in the application just how how beautifully these applied. I mean, I just tapped in lightly to Riveting Rhubarb. I had so much pigment, but I was able to blend it out so smoothly, and I purposely stayed away from wearing bronzer, although when I wore this on a day today, I did wear bronzer underneath, and it worked beautifully, but I really wanted you to see what it looks like without bronzer, without highlighter. You can see that sheen. You can see how smoothly it blended in. The F06 is just fluffy enough that it can give you that smooth blend. It just, everything works so seamlessly. But Persistent Persimmon really surprised me. When I look at this, this is an Angie shade. This is Angie's favorite color. It's her signature color with her brand. And I just didn't know how I would feel about it on my skin tone. But I'm not going to lie. I think that this is a great fall blush. I think it's going to look beautiful when I'm creating like warm, rich looks. If I'm going for even a bright lip or like a nude lip, I just feel like this brush is very versatile. I love the way that it creates such like a beautiful, healthy glow to my cheeks without being glittery, without being shimmery and shiny. It's not too much. It's not giving you as much glow as the new Rare Beauty blushes that came out not too long ago, but you're getting more glow than even just a satin finish. It's a very healthy glow. And I really love that with my dry skin. It's something I really look for. And I love the fact that if I want to, I can go in with a highlighter and it's gonna give me a little extra oomph. But if I stay away from highlighter and put just this blush on, it's giving me a very similar effect of like lifting and making my skin look healthy. So I will be wearing all four of these evocative blushes. I feel like this is going to be a fast favorite, not just because it's my friend's brand, but, but because it's what I actually look for in a blush, is I look for something with a satin finish, with a sheen, long wear. My cheeks aren't going to eat it. I'm not going to have to reapply it. And it just look like it looks so good without bronzer. Like I normally wear bronzer, but it looks so good without bronzer. So I did get these in PR but I did order two more. I did. I'm not going to use all of these up just because I've never used up a blush before in my life, but I did want to purchase two more. One, because I wanted to support my friend. Two, because I think they're awesome blushes. And three, I am going to gift one to my mother-in-law who is here and another one to my best friend Smags so that they can enjoy these blushes as well. Like I said, they're available now. They're $18 each. You can get a bundle for $65. The makeup bags are on sale now on Angie's site. Like everything is there. Everything is there for you. Okay, so this is obviously the look that we are going to create together using Nomad's new Fuji Five Lakes Fall Palette, but I'm going to kind of do like a talk through. I'll show you what's going on, how I created this look, but before we get into the look, I am going to show you how I created this. I wanted to talk a little bit about this palette, and y'all, I kid you not, the packaging of this palette is 
amazing. Like that, the packaging in and of itself is artwork. It almost looks and feels like a canvas that has been hand painted on. There is like a 3D texture on here. You can feel on the packaging. You can feel like the texture of the leaves. You can feel the texture of the name. And I was instantly like stunned, blown away, just amazed at the sheer beauty of this palette in and of itself. And then when you open it up, it's such a fun, color story because it's kind of like fall into winter. You have the warm fall colors of the yellows and the gold and the rich reds and burgundies, but then you have like these cooler winter colors in like the icy blues. And oh my gosh, this diamond Fuji shade is amazing for an inner corner pop. I really love the pompous grass shade all over the lid. I did create another look with this that you'll be seeing in a video coming up, but I wanted to play with the blues and greens today for my look. I wanted to experiment with a look that I created with the ColourPop Lemoncello palette years ago where it's mostly blue but this pop of gold on the lid and I really feel like I achieved that today. Now this palette is Nomad's newest palette. It is their fall release. You can get it for $44 on the Nomad Cosmetics website. Nomad is a brand that I have come to know and love. They are also based in Texas. This is an indie brand and the thing that I love about Nomad is it's putting two things that I love together. I absolutely love makeup and I absolutely love traveling. And you really get to feel like you are traveling to these places when you play with your makeup. And that is so incredibly fun for me. The owners are just so amazing. We've spoken on DMs. Nomad is a brand that I was purchasing and I reached out to them again, wanting this relationship with them. And now they've added me to their PR list and I have been able to try their last several palettes, having them gifted to me. But the the thing that I really love about this brand is they are always supporting a cause. With each eyeshadow palette, they're supporting a cause near and dear to the destination. So here we have Japan, the Fuji Five Lakes, and the cause that they are supporting is More Trees Forest Con Conservation Organization. And their goal is a society where forests and people can coexist for generations to come. So it says on the back of the little postcard that they have that the destination is Fuji in fall. So autumn in Japan is a colorful and captivating season. As foliage hues move across the country, the favorite pastime, Mamaji Gare, probably butchering that, red leaf hunting begins and no other place is more beautiful and more awe-inspiring to see than the Fuji Five Lakes region. So it's a mix of warm and cool, right? You have the warm autumn shades and the coolness of the water and the blue hues. And I think they really just did an amazing job matching these two worlds together. I think Felicia and Auntie, the owners of Nomad Cosmetics, just did an amazing job with their brand. You know, thinking of these destinations and incorporating makeup and the colors and the hues that go together, but also I always look forward to their postcards where they leave a little note, they explain their thoughts behind the palette, what they wanted this palette to be. It's such an inspiration, and then I love the fact that they always have a cause. I mean, even down to the details on the bottom of this postcard lists other palettes that they have, the Florida Keys, Fuji Five Lakes, Ghost Town USA, Ireland, New Zealand, Okavango Delta, Royal Europe. It's like you just don't know where they're going to go next and what's going to come of that. I've never been to Japan. I've never been to Mount Fuji, but I think the artwork is amazing. I think the way that the richness of the colors and the leaves come together with the water, I just think they did an amazing job. I just think it's an amazing palette. I think they did an amazing job. I have now created two looks with this palette. Like I mentioned, you will see the first look in a video that's coming up later on. And although this is not what I think of with traditional fall, I did go for more of like a winter vibe. I feel like with this look, but my first look that I created was definitely very fall and dipping into the yellows and the oranges. And so I think this palette is going to just be a fast favorite for me. I love the quality. The mattes are so creamy and blendable. I'm e able to blend them out easily and make them work with my skin tone. It doesn't get muddy. The shimmers are beautiful. I just really enjoyed this look. I think that it is great. It turned out great. It turned out amazing. And I'm so thankful to Nomad for sending me this. I can't wait to play with it some more. If you picked this palette up, let me know down below. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can create some shorts as well or some short form content, some reels on Instagram with some more looks with this palette because I'd really, really love to play with it. 
the only reason why this palette did not get its own dedicated review is that I got this the weekend that I was leaving to Austin to go to the BK Beauty Party. So I didn't get a chance to play with it until I got back and y'all, I am wowed. It is beautiful. It is amazing. We have one more thing to do. We are going to dip into lips and recently Kaleidos sent me a cute little PR package and I have all of these nude lip shades. I think I want to use one of them. I also have some glosses here so we'll see what I can come up with. I'm going to first line with one of my BK Beauty lip liners. Again, I don't know that you can get these but I'm going to go in with the lip liner Warm Spice and we're going to see what lip I decide to go with. Okay, so I ended up going in with pink Himalayan, which is like a very deep, rich nude color with maybe a hint or undertone of pink. And then I topped it with Skinny Dip, their lip gloss. This is the look that we have right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this cute little headband off. Super cute. Um, my hair is nothing to write home about, but I love this look. It's very colorful, it's very fun. I'm gonna zoom you out and we're gonna chat. So first of all, I just want to say how thankful and grateful I am to be able to have the opportunity to attend a brand event, to be able to have the opportunity to have brands send me PR. It's just so humbling and so I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. Thank you guys for being a part of this journey, this crazy life. I'm so thankful, grateful that I was able to attend the BK Beauty event and that I just have this amazing makeup sitting in front of me. So thank you so much to my friend Angie for letting me stay at your place, for going to the party with me, for letting me help package your packages, and um, for being my friend, for my PR. Thank you so much. I love you. You're wonderful and amazing. Y'all, Angie is seriously one of the hardest working, one of the smartest women that I know. She's not just beautiful. She's incredibly smart. She's incredibly honest. Um, I'm very thankful and grateful to have her friendship. Lisa and Sophia and Lyric, the BK team, they're so amazing. They've been so kind to me, so welcoming. Um, it was amazing to have a great first experience with them. And then, you know, to have Felicia and Auntie send me their newest Nomad palette. I'm super thankful and grateful for that to be able to play with it. I love travel. I love travel. My husband and I have an Instagram, the friends of travel. Like I love travel and makeup. So I love seeing these things come together, but that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you loved a little bit of like the behind the scenes. Please give this a thumbs up if you did. I know it's probably a little bit of a longer video and uh, just stay tuned. There's more to come. My husband and I still owe you guys a q and I have a bunch of questions. We haven't done it yet. So if you have any questions you want to add, go ahead and leave them here because maybe next weekend while it's Labor Day, we can do a Q&A. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.